hello guys welcome back and in this video i want to speak about um how to manage your work your project as a you know as a team using git basically i'm going to speak about how to manage a software project that is uh, in a team using git and this will be just one of the many videos that i'll make in this series and so in this uh, video specifically i want to show you how you can be able to create a Kanban board um in git and be able just to manage the stages that you know the code goes through or the stages that the project will contain or will have during its uh development and you know uh its growth yeah basically this will include th something like maybe in the Kanban board you'll have to show you know the features that are under development the features that are um under testing you know under uh, quality assurance something of that sort and maybe they are in production and so without further ado this is exciting let us dive in and see how to do this so here i'm in my git i'm in my git platform so what i noticed is that git have been changing this uh, interface and now it looks quite different initially all the uh, the git issues project by default will have been displayed on this home page but this is how currently the home page uh, looks like but still um we just have the same features that were there so nothing to worry about so the first thing you need to do is to create a project in the coming videos i'll show you how to link these projects to a git repository and how to commit to specific branches that can be tracked or they can be reviewed under specific issues and how you can change the status of those issues all those things yeah but for now we just want to see how we can be able to to create a kanban board or a starting point uh, that will be able to manage your project so i'll go here to my profile and i'll just i'll just click um, my avatar here and then what i'm going to do i'll just choose uh, your project so currently in this uh, repository or in this git platform i have one project that i'm still doing and uh, just maybe to give you a test of what you are going to do let me just click here so that you can see so this is what we are going to do so currently as you can see we have now this kanban board here and we have new issues development testing qa and the issues that uh, have been published so i have quite a number of uh issues that I'm pub are published and there are others which are still in development and we have new issues so let us see how to create this so let me just go back here so when you land on this page just create a uh, click new project so this will give you an option to create a new project you know add the title for the project and yeah something of that sort so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to call this project let us say test and then I'm going to click um, create so it will bring me to something of this sort so this is the initial view that you have is um uh this list view so what i need to do is that uh, click here new view and then click um on board which is basically the kanban board so i'll just click this this is the most preferred and then what i'm going to do uh on this first view here i'm going to click this and click uh delete view all right so i'm going to do that so once i've done this now the kanban uh, board uh, view is like this we have to do in progress done something of that sort so you can be able to um rename or to edit this to be what you want let us say we have new issues new issues something of that sort and then i'll sell this and then maybe this one i can edit and say maybe this is uh under development development something of that sort save and this is maybe i can say it is under uh let us say testing slash qa actually i'd already written this so that is why it is populating and lastly you can be able also to add a board here by just clicking this and just say new column and then i can label this uh published or maybe something like uh production you can label anything that you want either business validation whatever for now i just name this like that so this is how you create a kanban board 
in git very simple and now let us say you have uh, started a project and you have a number of issues that you have assigned to particular uh, developers so the way you create these issues is very simple you see this option here which says add item on the lower side of this column just click on this and then it will give you this plus icon here and then you can just click on this plus icon here and then click create issue so the first issue that i can create here let us say for example um so the thing here is that when you click on this issue if you have any repository in your git it will list here so that you can choose the issue um related to that um to that what to that uh repository in this case i'll just choose something here this one of my project and then i'll just say choose and then for this issue i can just say uh, something dummy like add add student dashboard so maybe that is something that i need to be added to this project and then you can add the description here maybe the way you want the developer to understand how the dashboard will be and something that you can use to cross check um if all these things were be were added in this issue were addressed in this issue for example i can say um be able to create a new student something of that sort i can say be able to edit uh, existing student then i can say be able to delete uh, root student root student and then maybe be able to view student course so maybe these are the sub features or the sub functionalities that i needed uh, to be associated with this um with this issue all right then i just click uh, create so is that simple nothing complicated so this will create this guy like this here and one thing i want you to notice about this issue this issue that i've created here so let me just click here and show you what uh, as you can see uh, one thing i recommend that you do is that you have a standard way of naming your issues for me i like having the first letter of the uh, title being in caps and then the description can be anything but uh, basically me i like having uh, writing this like a sentence so uh, every beginning of this issue and description will be starting with a with a capital letter and then another thing i need you to notice is that there is status for this issue here so for now uh as you can see here is that this status is uh the status for this issue is that it is still open which means it is still undergoing some process and when you are satisfied that this issue has been addressed then you can simply click here and close that issue so also another thing is to notice that the status that the issue is is in is located here is shown here so let us assume that now the developer has created a branch out of this issue i'll show you later how to create a branch out of this issue and then you can simply click this issue and review the code that has been committed to that specific branch by the developer but for now let us assume that the developer has taken this issue and has started developing it so he simply or you will simply need to move this issue to the development stage all right and once he has committed the the code to the repository you can you can move this issue now to testing and qa whereby the qa teams, uh, the qa team can be able to cross check if all the uh, the concern raised on this issue were uh, were well addressed and if there is anything that need to be addressed that issue can be edited and returned to development and that specific developer can pick it and now let us assume that now this issue has gone to production and is now live which means uh, this issue has been addressed so now you can be able to update the status of this issue by simply uh, going down here and clicking on this option of close issue all right so if i do that you see it marks the issue here closed actually again you can be able to reopen it maybe in a state whereby we have a hot fix something of that sort from the production yeah so if i close this 
So uh, let me just drag this back. You see now there is a check here which shows that this issue has been completed. All right. It shows that this issue has been completed. So that is how you can be able, guys, to create a Kanban board to manage uh, all of your project. In fact, this uh, this Kanban board cannot can be used to manage not only Git project but also other projects that you have. Maybe you want to keep track of the stages of how something is progressing. Then you can be able to use this Kanban board. And with that, guys, as usual, please leave a like. Um, subscribe comment and let me know if you want me to make more of these videos and until we meet again bye bye